All right, welcome back to DIY Mondays. So what we're gonna do today is a stinky shoe spray, or well, stinky shoe powder. So in my book, I also have a stinky shoe spray as well as a powder, which is great for those sweaty feet, uh, gym socks, when you're coming back from the gym, it's great to kind of just put into your shoes, your gym shoes, even into your gym bags. Um, to just kind of deodorize it and freshen everything up and this works. So what we're going to do today is I have some Aru powder, a quarter cup here measured out. Um, I have some baking powder, just kind of in a other container that I've stored it in. So I usually buy baking, so, sorry, baking soda um, stored in bulk. So usually bulk food store if you're looking to get it in larger quantities. So quarter cup Aru powder, quarter cup baking soda, and the blend that I like to use is the cleansing blend, which is Purify. Um, and I'm going to do about 15 to 20 drops of that. So I actually don't have shoes to use it in. What I'm actually going to be making it for to use is so that way I can basically mix it up in my bowl and have it ready to put in my refrigerator as like a air freshener in the refrigerator. And that's great as like an alternative to coffee grounds, if any of you guys have ever used that. That's also a good one to try, but we're gonna use this and then we can also use it in the shoes because in the monsoon season, your shoes are always getting wet. It's not always the best option to be throwing them in your washing machine all the time. So this is perfect that after each wear, you can just kind of take a little spoon of it and sprinkle it into the sole of your shoe and it's perfect to have for that. So what I'm gonna do is, you guys know me, I don't really always measure, so we're just gonna kinda eyeball it. We're gonna put about a quarter cup of the baking soda into, uh, into the bowl here. So that looks about right. Then I am going to go ahead and dump in the R root powder in here too. And if you don't have baking soda, baking powder is also a great substitute um, if you're gonna be using it as like a freshener or a deodorizer. Then we're gonna go ahead and directly just kind of drop in 20 drops into your bowl. All right, so we're good. So now you're gonna take your spoon and you're gonna just kind of mix it around so that you don't get any of those clumps because the liquid will kind of clump up. So you wanna just make sure that you're getting it spread around nicely and that none of those clumps exist. And it smells really good. So this is like, I love um, the Purify blend. This is great for cleansing taking out any bad odors. So if you're diffusing after you've just cooked, the Purify blend is really good for that. Um, as well as just doing it to like an all purpose spray, the Purify blend is great. Other alternatives that you could do, eucalyptus, tea tree, those are all really good oils to kind of add into um, the stinky shoe powder because those are all really good to kind of help pull out smells. All right, so we're good to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna transfer half of it back into this Aru powder um, little mason jar. So that way I can store it and use that for shoes. And then the other half, I'm actually just gonna take this bowl and stick it in the fridge. And that will kind of help deodorize the fridge, take out any bad odors. Um, and you should be all set. And then basically just keep this closed. So put the lid on it and that way you're kind of sealing in all the essential oils, all the goodness. And then before you're ready to use it again, just give it a little good shake and then just take, I would say like a quarter teaspoon and sprinkle that into the soles of your shoes. Just kind of shake it around the bottom of your shoe, let it get absorbed and you're ready to wear it again the next time. So I hope you guys enjoy this DIY. Go ahead and like it, subscribe and let me know what else you want to watch. Thank you.